When we talk about this fasting mimicking, uh, some people would say, is it really healthy if I'm limiting my body to 1,000 or 700 calories for five days? You know, am I robbing the body of, of nutrition? And then how do you deal with hunger? Or is that something that, that comes up? Well, actually, they're all wonderful questions. First off, my office actually was the beta test site for um, when USC did all this wonderful research in their Longevity Institute, and universities are entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial these days. So they actually were part of starting a startup company so that the brilliant research could be actually sold and used by the people all over the world, which is what's happening. So they created a company, and they, it was named El Nutra, and then they created their first product, which is the fasting mimicking diet, which was named Prolon for promoting longevity. And they had done research in their lab, and they actually did research with humans. But these were volunteers, and these were strictly monitored and very, um, we'll say, motivated people. Mm -hmm. But they'd never used it in a real world setting. And my office became that first setting. So mm -hmm. I, they d interviewed a lot of people, and I was the chosen one. I was so excited to be part of this really groundbreaking research. Yeah. And so I was the first practice on the whole planet that implemented mm -hmm. Prolon. And I tried it myself, of course. And because I had long ago given up junk food and uh, sugary, high fructose corn syrup food, so I hadn't eaten those things in years. Mm -hmm. So when I did the Prolon, I had no problem at all because I could seamlessly go from burning glucose to burning fat. I, I didn't have any problem going into ketosis and my body could burn fat. I didn't have any problem, so I didn't really predict what I was going to find when I actually started using it in my patients who were not living the best lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So when I tried it on my patients who were eating you know, like all the time, they had, they were eating, they, they had that idea that came out, I don't know why or when, where you should eat every two hours right. to maintain your health, which is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Mm. But that's what they were doing. And they were eating late at night, and they were eating processed foods and high sugar, high fat. So sure. the worst kind of Western diet. Mm. And then I gave them the Prolon, and many of them struggled. They couldn't do it. By day three, when they were supposed to go into ketosis seamlessly, they couldn't. Their bodies were so bad at burning fat, their mitochondria were not healthy. And they went into a state of hypoglycemia. And they, when you get that way, you feel, I've never felt this, but I've heard it now, you feel like you're going to die. You feel like if you don't get food in you, you will literally die. You're like so hungry, like hunger, uh, like times 10 to the million. You know. So they would fall apart and they would go and they'd make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches which obviously wrecked the whole program mm -hmm. and then they'd feel really bad about themselves so I learned quickly that I had to really know what I was starting with in terms of the diet of my patients mm -hmm. and I did what I described and, and labeled a reset program sometimes I would call it a detox not because I was taking all their toxins out of their body mm -hmm. although it does when you get a healthy liver you can actually and a good gut microbiome that's how you can eliminate toxins so it does help it gives the body the support it needs so that it can do the jobs it's supposed to do but it was really more like you would say a drug detox you know you're detoxing them off of junk food sure. and high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. and sugar and getting them to eat vegetables sometimes for the first time in their lives because there are people that think you know a little shredded lettuce on a burger is their vegetable or the ketchup, you know, that kind of thing, but it's real. Or they think French fries is their vegetable serving. So they really are eating, you know, the high caloric, high fat, high sugar, nutrient poor foods. So I would get them eating real food for a month or two, get them into a, a time restricted where they were not allowed to have snacks. Or if they had to, they were the snacks that I prescribed, which were high fat like eating. You can have some olives or a few macadamia nuts and then drink a lot of green tea or herbal tea. You know. So I would try to get them off of this constant eating. And depending on the person, a month or two down the road, then I would start again or this time it would be the first time hopefully with Prolon and then I had success because when you are reasonably healthy you can actually go very without any pain or suffering from burning sugar into burning fat that's our, what our bodies were designed to do we weren't designed to go through pain and suffering we as long as we have enough storage fat and there are very few people that don't have enough storage fat to get them through this so a few days of not eating is 
not hard for people once they get you know onto a healthy diet mm -hmm. and they don't feel starved in fact once they get into ketosis so some people may have an hour or two or three and we work with them we say take a walk hydrate because often that will help just yeah. drink some water this the program comes with a big big like 32 ounce container for what I call an energy drink and so there's plenty of teas you can have all the liquid and just hydrate take a walk get out of the kitchen and before you know it you're feeling fine once you get into ketosis you feel fine and then the hunger goes away I never have any of the hunger but the, for those people in the beginning the first time is the hardest mm -hmm. but then after the first time the second third it gets easier and easier sure. and sometimes you have to force people to even eat the food that comes with it they say I'm not hungry I don't need any but it's like you know what you do get nutrition because you brought that up well is it good to have no nutrition well this kind of takes care of that question mm -hmm. because you actually don't lose your lean body mass they've shown that because mm -hmm. if you do a true water fast and you have no nutrition then you do um, you will lose most likely some neural tissue you might lose muscle bone so that's the last thing you want to lose mm -hmm. but this preserves that in fact percentage wise your lean body mass percentage goes up at the end of the five days so it's really quite phenomenal it's yeah. it's really wonderful and um, with time with a few ex a few passes through this you know you don't have any of that misery of hunger and and I've learned I can avoid all of that just by getting them to get on a regular healthy diet with some time restricted eating and getting on real food and then we avoid that misery when they feel they're going to die and they run to the peanut butter and jelly. Mm -hmm. So it works out well and with the Prolon it also comes with some nutrient supplements like a little algal oil and a vitamin so you will not be deprived at all okay. and you won't be hungry but then you'll have tremendous benefits. Mm -hmm.